Hello my friends. I just finished installing this brush guard. It's made by uh, Steelcraft and it is polished stainless steel. Um, it also comes in powder coated black. Uh, polished stainless is about twice the price. Uh, the installation took me a total of about three hours. Um, it should be able to be done in about two. Uh, I attributed one hour into setting the camera and moving it around, turning it on and on. I'm real pleased with how it went on. Um, uh, everything was uh, sized and fit real well. Um, the only cutting is a little bit of trimming on the splash guards on the plastic and minimal amount and it's just to make clearance for some of the bolts and the brackets that went on there. This one, uh, I researched a few of the other type of brush guards, and for this Honda, it's very secure. Uh, some of the others, I had ordered one and sent it back. It was only attached at the bottom, and the top uh, had flexing. Installation is real easy. Um, I did it myself. They recommend that you have somebody uh, hold this when you're folding it up. Uh, but there is some brackets on the front here that can support it while you can work the lower section. And this, ready for installation. Instructions. Mounting brackets. Left and right. These should be the upper supports. Since they're polished, they're probably in view. Hardware. Um, I have it laid out here and on all these pieces you can see here they have the, for the left and the right but uh, using left and right is not a good method they have here a P for passenger and D for driver so all the pieces are stamped see right there is a D there is a D P for passenger and again, P. So um, left and right does not work on the vehicle depending on which way you're facing. So that could make it a little confusing. So stamping with driver and passenger makes much more sense. First thing we want to do is remove the splash guards. Now to remove the splash guard, they are held on with these buttons and to remove them you take a small screwdriver you insert it inside or underneath that clip and pry this back and pull it till it's fully extended that allows this expansion part to release and then you can pull your splash guard off. To work on the underside of the truck I had to put it up on the ramps and I got jack stands underneath. To remove this plastic guard it was a real pain. There was nine of these plastic plugs. Those were easy to get out. And there's eight of these. These are uh, 10 millimeter uh, screws, bolts. Two long ones. And these were the ones that were tough. Phillips screws. The one I was already getting ready to strip the Phillips end out, but I ended up beating on the end of it, or beating on it with a 
ball peen hammer to loosen the rust that was on it and uh, also used PB blaster on it. So these two were the tough ones. The rest were okay. This inner plastic shield has to come off. And that just pops off. Okay, we need access to these two bolts here. So this uh, filter or air vent is in the way. So we need to temporarily remove this. And they're held with these plastic clips. There's a Phillips slot in the top. And we just back them out. Okay, now I have access to this. You can leave this set out of the way, but there's your access. Okay, I'm under the passenger side of the vehicle, <clears throat> and there's this frame bracket with three bolts. This bolt here on the inside is going to be loosened, removed, and this support bracket will go on here. Okay, the support bracket now goes on and we want to replace this right away. Now that, that slot, or hole is a slot, so we want to take this up, snug it, but don't tighten it. Okay. This one here is a bigger, heavier one. And we're going to loosen this, but do not remove it. That's very important that you don't remove it. You want to <clears throat> loosen this enough just so that you could slide the bracket underneath. Okay, that might do it. This bracket has a U-slot. And that goes up here and it slides under and this comes over to the other bracket. Now we run this one back and run it tight. Before you get it too tight, you want to secure the bolts in here. Okay, you need a washer, and another washer, block washer, and then the nut. Okay, nothing is really tightened yet. That one's a little bit snug. But there might be some movement with this whole unit when we put the front, the brush guard on. And uh, it'll be, the brush guard will be adjusted to the right position. And then um, once it, that's in the right position, we'll snug all these bolts. Now we go and do the other side same way. Now I'm on the driver's side. This inner bolt right here. This one is loosened. They're taken out and reused. And again, all these parts have a stamp on them. 
with either a D or a P standing for driver side or passenger side. Okay. It'll be like that. In. Okay. Bolt with the washer. Washer. Lock washer. Nut. Okay, snug. Okay, nothing's real tight. Okay, here's a view of the brush guard support brackets without the plastic guard. And here's the dr driver's side and there is the passenger side. Okay, we're under the hood and this is the passenger side. These two bolts are removed. Okay, now, these longer screws, we had to replace those short ones with longer screws. Now, we need to place spacers, so there's a washer that goes over each of these holes, and then these go down through And with this, there is movement, so we want to take these down and just snug them up. They'll have to be positioned when the grill guard goes up. And we do the same to the other side now. spacers these should have a lock washer okay snug but not tight Okay, at this point, we need to make sure that everything is squared and leveled after these are tightened. Okay, then you want to replace the air breather. One in. Okay, they need the Phillips. So I'm going to have to cut out a little area here 
so it'll allow it to drop down. Now I have to remove the brush guard because I have to do two cutouts with the splash guard on the underside. Okay, to cut the and reinsert the splash guard, this frame support has to come back off. So again, we just loosen this back one so that it could slide out. And we take this nut off and bolt. Washer, washer. brush guard made by Steelcraft and uh, I think it was well engineered. Um, one of the concerns that I had was that this might interfere with some of the sensors and it's not. So everything's good in that area. The other thing, this came pre-drilled for extra lights and what I did needed this to carry my TP poles, so they need support on the front end. I couldn't do it without brush work. Hope you enjoyed this video, my friends. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, we're going to place... Oh, don't want to be doing that.